Hello? Hey, how's it going shopping at that new strip downtown? Which, again, I have to say, I'm a little upset that you didn't wait until I was fully recovered so that we could go together. But all will be forgiven as long as you bring me that ice cream from that new shop over there. <laughs> Whoa, hold, hold on. Slow down. Something's going on and you are talking way too fast. Yeah, you, you sound panicked. What's going on? Someone, someone's following you? Okay, um, how long has this been going on? Okay, a few, ten, ten minutes. Okay, um, are you anywhere near your car? Alright, I took the bus. Okay, um, alright, let's see, who can get you? Okay, did you text them yet? They'll take a little- okay. So, all you need to do is go and hide in a store right now. All you need to do, that's all you need to do. Let somebody know- You left? Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Follow my instructions. And we'll figure this out. You can keep talking to me, I'll keep talking to you. And we'll make sure that you're okay. Usually people who follow others, stalkers, they usually give up if you're still on the phone for a while. Because they don't want to... Yeah, you're right. Because they don't want to get caught trying to do anything. <laughs> okay. Focus. Where are you right now? Uh, okay, in the next street, take a left, and then right away, take a right. If you need to, cross the street, but be careful. Only use the crosswalks. Yes, even if you're scared, don't jaywalk. I don't want you to get hit. Okay, keep talking cheerful. You need to keep them off the scent, that you know what's going on. Sometimes... They get a little crazier when they know you're panicked. I don't know why. They're just strange like that. They like that hunt, I guess. I don't know. Thinking about it is probably not the best idea. Just, hmm. Tell me about where you've been already. Where have you shot? Did you get me the ice cream? Ah. Oh. Really? You're not going to get until later? Okay, okay, fair. You're totally right. I don't want melted ice cream. <laughs> exactly. No, no, don't look backwards. Just follow my instructions, you'll be okay. Don't look behind you. If anything, you have that mirror, right? A little handheld mirror? Use that. Lift it up. Look like you're trying to fix something, like your hair. Lift it up just a little bit above your shoulders. You should see if they're still following. What do they look like? Hmm? Okay. I'll make a mental note of that, and you do the same. Because if this gets, well, worst case scenario, you'll probably need to describe them. I hope it doesn't go down like that, and most likely it won't, but it's always best to be safe just in case. Just keep yourself focused, it's going to be okay. Alright? Alright, so, back to food. Oh, I'm gonna get hungry just talking about it. So, there are a bunch of new restaurants and little snack places to eat. Did you get anything? Oh, right, it's only... Right, it's the middle of the day. You got a snack, though? What'd you get? Was it good? Ah, uh, that sounds amazing. 
Okay, we definitely have to go there once I'm better. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna make you pinky promise next time. Yes, you know I still use that. Okay, and what about the shops? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just keep breathing. You're going to be alright. I know. It's a little weird. Having somebody following you around. Especially if they shouldn't be. But you're going to be fine. Do you need me to come get you? Because I can do that. Just need to get out of bed and start the car. Oh. Right, yeah, you have somebody on the way. I forgot. Well, I mean, it's just that I'm worried about you. Just as much as you're worried about that stalker. So excuse me for being a good best friend and wanting to help you out in any and every way possible. You have your pepper spray on you, right? Just in case. You don't need to use it unless you need unless they're right on top of you. Or well, close to being on top of you. <laughs> exactly. I know you've always wanted to use it, but ideally you hopefully will never have to. Okay, okay, sorry. Things are getting a little freaky again. Um where are you now? Are you getting closer to the strip? You're going away. Alright, well, that's my fault. I should have said head back towards the strip. So, figure out how to cut a few corners, cross the street again, and start heading back. The busier the streets, the better. Why? Because if you're around more people and somebody tries to grab you, there will be people to stop them. Yes, duh. <laughs> I'm not calling you stupid, don't worry. I'm just saying. It's, it's pretty simple. Exactly, plus there are plenty of stores you can run and hide in. Once you do, if you want, you can stay on the line. I can keep you distracted while... You avoid that person. Where are they now? Are they closer or farther? About the same? Okay, that's good. Okay, so turn that corner. And start heading... Yeah. So, let's see. Um, how is your family? How are your other friends? I'm still surprised they didn't want to go with you here. Well, yes, even though I'm jealous that you went without me, I thought you would at least go with a few other people. Or, well, a friend. Oh, you'd rather go by yourself than with someone else. Oh, everybody else was busy. Ouch! <laughs> For a second made me feel like I was actually special. <laughs> yeah, I know, you're teasing. It's okay. I can take it. I may be stitched up, but I can take a joke. Huh. Alright, good, good, good. Keep that pace. You don't need to let them think that you know that they're there. You can't just quickly run either. You'll exhaust yourself early if they try and make a chase. Mm-hmm. Just keep up the pace, you'll be fine. And breathe, don't forget to breathe. Yes, if anything, maybe they're just being creepy. Or you dropped something. I, I kind of doubt that, but I'm trying to be optimistic here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, really? That store is there? Did you go in? Did you find that new... Yeah, the new thing you were looking for. 
Really? They were sold out there too? That is... I mean, yes, it's a hot topic that's going on nowadays, but still you would think, knowing that it's such a big item, they would stock it and restock it at least two times the amount that they restock normal supplies and items. But I guess that's corporates and businesses for you. <laughs> I'll never understand them. Yeah, yeah, even though I work for one. I guess they like the anticipation more than anything, even though they know that they'll still get as much sales as they usually do. You're right, it's definitely the anticipation and watching people clamor for the last item that they have. I don't know, it just seems so manipulative and strange to me, but <laughs> that's another topic for another day, I think. You're almost there? Awesome, good. And what about your ride? Are they close? Somewhat. Okay, well then you'll most likely have to hide in a store. I don't think it matters which one you hide in as long as it's... Yeah, the closest one. <laughs> as long as you're hidden, it's okay. You should be fine. And they're still following you. It's just so strange. I can't understand that. Well, yes, I know the psychology and all of that, but still, I guess not being a stalker myself, I don't understand it as much as I would if I was one. <laughs> I know you wouldn't really be my friend if I was. I would just end up stalking you, I bet. Okay, okay, sorry. Bad joke, bad timing. You're getting closer to the strip, to the store. Good. Okay. Yes. It's going to be fine. Just remember to keep breathing. Good. Okay. Now, take a sharp turn. Are there a lot of people? You're right. Still in the middle of the week. Okay, well, I guess it's time to hide in the closest store. They're right behind you. Okay, well, like I said, closest store, go to a clerk, cashier, whichever one you're at, and just explain that somebody's following you. And that's to hide in either their bathroom or in a dressing room or just be watched over by the people who work there going to be fine. <laughs> you can look as panicked as you want. I don't mind. I'm not telling you not to be panicked. Well, scratch that. I am telling you not to be panicked. But once you get into a store and you explain the situation, let loose. <laughs> if you want to freak out, tell them you're being followed and you need some place to be safe. I think that might scare the person off and they'll u-turn if not i'm sure they'll get security or they themselves will step in to stop whoever's following you of course i'm sure this happened to me what about six months ago remember when i called you and i pretended to talk really loud and get obnoxiously crazy and you asked me what the hell was wrong yeah, that was that time. That's what happened. <laughs> it's okay. I prefer to keep that memory wiped from my brain as well. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen to you once this is all over. Good. Okay, you're in the store. Now just walk up to the register. I don't care if there's a line. Don't cut. Just go to the side, wave someone down, and tell them what's going on. Good, okay. I'll be here on the phone if you still need me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Everything's good? Okay, good. Now, we can breathe. <laughs> 
That was one crazy adventure. I'm glad you're okay, though. I was really, really worried. So what do you think you're going to do? Are you going to shop some more, or...? <laughs> I definitely don't blame you for just wanting to go home now. It's definitely a scary ordeal you just went through. Oh, don't worry. It's no problem at all. I'm just glad I could be there for my best friend. And that's what we do. We're there for each other. And they're close by? Ah, oh, perfect timing. Alright, well, take care. Get home safe. Text me when you're back. <laughs> Love you too. Alright, bye.